to being Wendy. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Wendy, aka Mama Fabian. Thank you so much for tuning in into this video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join. Yeah, and join the Being Wendy gang. So let me first start by saying a big thank you to you guys for the reception I got from the my biggest failure video when i did that video i didn't expect to get as much love as it did i actually expected to get more backlash but i was really open to whatever was going to come because that is exactly what i've been going through and yeah i'm so happy that many of us could relate on that specific issue if you still haven't watched that video make sure to check it out and a lot of moms are going through the same thing so don't worry we are all together in this we're going to make it through and god is going to see us through and we're going to emerge strong <laughs> yeah so happy women's day guys i know it's not women's day but i just want to say happy international women's day to all the women out there you guys are amazing without you the world wouldn't exist so on to today's topic i want to do a small and to pen down a small letter letter to all the young dads out there guys uh you know this this channel we mainly came up with it for young moms but i believe young dads deserve as much love too so this is a letter to all the young dads and when i say young dads i mean not deadbeat dads i mean guys who enjoyed the process of making the baby and are still enjoying the process of taking care of the baby those are the dads i'm talking about so if you're a young dad stay tuned for this so i feel like it is really important for you young dads if you're a young dad and you're watching this or you're, you're a young mom make sure your young dad is watching this <laughs> yeah so i really want to first start by appreciating all the young responsible dads out there who have mm. come through and accepted their pregnancies i want to thank you all so much you do not know how much that means to your girlfriend or your baby mama it doesn't matter whatever situation your relationship is in you and you've still come through for the baby you do not know how important that is and the first thing i want to say is a big big thank you to all the young responsible dads out there it takes it takes a real man to actually come through and and accept this pregnancy as his you know especially if you're a young person who really doesn't have everything together in life but you've managed to to sit down and say like yes this is my fiddling and i'm going to be there and i'm going to be part of his life his or her life whether whatever the situation is whatever i'm going through i still want to be there for my child so a big thank you and a big appreciation to all the young dads out there you do not know how much your support and your acceptance for your child means to your girlfriend or your wife or your soon-to-be wife or like i said whatever situation you're in you don't understand how important that support means to your partner so a big thank you to you what's important okay let me just start by saying the sermon that was in church today was about the prodigal son so we all know the story of the prodigal son whatever belongs to your father belongs to you you know like whatever belongs to god belongs to us automatically and I, I want to translate that and say that whatever belongs to you as a young dad belongs to your child or your generation, like the legacy that you're going to leave behind, it's going to belong to that small human being that you have now accepted into your life. So as a young dad, as, as ex <laughs> how do I say it? As a young dad, just as a young mom, a lot of sacrifice is going to go into into you transitioning into this new stage in your life because we all know that women mature a bit faster than men and you need to be in the same headspace as your partner because when you give birth to a child as a woman automatically everything in your life changes nothing is ever going to be the same again so for a man it doesn't happen automatically you know it's it's a learned process like you have to learn it so i think it's important for every young dad to be willing to learn you know you don't know anything you are not going to breastfeed this child you're not going to wake up in the middle okay you are going to wake up in the middle of the night but you're not going to do half the things that 
the the woman is going to do you know i know this is going to sound so like an equality gender equality thing but as as a man you know 100 percent sure that you have to put in the effort you know so as a young dad i'd i'd use this space to tell all the young dads out there what you're supposed to one make sure you support your partner actually you accepting the pregnancy already goes a long way so kudos for that two be there for your partner no matter what if you guys are staying together be there like support her when she wakes up in the middle of the night help her with like house chores like just be a helping hand in, in whatever way that you can you know third if you guys are not staying together put the effort to come and see your child put the effort to to make also your partner feel like it's it's just not them like both of you both of you are in this together you know make sure you come see your child as much as possible even take them out you know spend create memories for you as a family that's the other young dad if you don't have the right type of resources or you you feel like you're not financially stable to be able to go out it's okay if the parents obviously by by the time you get to this point where uh you you can be able to come to her house her parents have accepted you or have given you like a certain you know like you've worked something through so it's it's acceptable for you to come and visit her so make sure you put in the effort to come and see your child fourth if you are financially stable please provide for your child and even if you're not the little that you get just do something with it because it is a thought and the effort that matters so if you're financially stable you know very well this child needs diapers you know very well this child needs clothes because they really outgrow their outgrow their clothes you know this child needs toys you know but the importance is the most important ones are pampers and food especially formula and things like that so sit down with your partner and come up with a budget of I'm going to be giving you this amount of money per week or per month and then once that is done you you don't have to wait for her to remind you you know in your head that yes this is my responsibility so come through with it if you do not have the right amount of funds or if if you don't have let's say as much money as you'd like to but you feel like you have enough money to do something do it you know the, your partner let me just say as as a mom you really appreciate when someone goes the extra mile and does for you things that you didn't expect so that's another thing i can tell you guys okay. because your young parents doesn't mean that it's the end of your fun you know you can and i'm not saying that you guys go and start telling your parents out no you can come up with a way of leaving your child at home with everyone on board and you guys go out just the two of you either it's after two weeks or it's after a month it depends on how your schedule is so you can plan as a young dad to just go out with your girlfriend because you still have to maintain that relationship so because your child needs someone needs both parents there's a reason why god came up with both parents there's a reason why God decided that there has to be two people for a family to come through. So make sure you maintain the spark of that relationship because you do not want to develop any hate towards your partner, be it the male or the female. You do not want to do that because by hating your partner, it means you partly hate your child. Yeah, you can say, oh, I can't hate my child, Nene, but you know, they, they're these kids who look 100% like their mom, and those who look 100% like their dad, and you don't want to resent your child just because of something that your partner did. Six, I think I should have even started with this. Communication, communication, communication. Young dads, communication is key in this parental world you know it is very important for the two of you to communicate no matter what if you feel like she's doing something that you don't like communicate if you feel like there's something you want to know about the baby or there's something you want to do but you don't know how she'll take it or just anything communicate about it be open towards each other do not like akuna kitu amjafanya mmeona na uchi at this point amekudalia mtoto so you guys should be as open as possible with one another you know so it's it's about being candid you know like you know your girlfriend is going to get mad or you know your boyfriend is going to get mad 
but you're still going to tell them the truth because you think that it is important for them to know it seven by now the two of you should have discussed actually as a young dad it is very important for you to not compare your partner with anyone else do not start telling her say, oh your body you're too fat or you're too skinny or hey no walk with her through this journey she's not feeling beautiful she's not 100 percent herself be with her through every step of this journey and trust me when she decides to be sexy she is you are going to appreciate it you know it's not that she's not sexy now but she's her body is just not at the point where actually her mind is not just at the point where she's thinking about her body at this specific moment you know so walk with her through this journey because so many people out here expect you to be you know to snap back like immediately and guys don't know these things guys are as clueless as it can get so make sure as a young dad you are there for your partner make sure she feels loved she feels beautiful all the way through and that you give her all the love and support that you can the best way you know how to you don't have to do things that you see someone else doing because not every relationship is the same. so keep on doing whatever works for your relationship do not depend on other people's relationship do not envy other people's relationship work on you uh, i don't uh, let me see if i've forgotten anything the main points are communication support and serious support that's all your baby mama or your girlfriend needs at this moment she needs you to be there for her 100 percent and trust you me she's going to appreciate it in every way that she can and if you've done and you you're still doing all of these things man kudos to you like you're doing you don't know the type of impact that you're having on your partner's life and on your baby's life you want if you have a son you want him to see how you, sh you treat your how you treat your girlfriend or your wife you want your child to grow up looking at how you guys are treating each other and just be like damn i want to be like mom like i want to be like dad i want to treat my girlfriend the same way or they grow up and they know that this is how someone is supposed to treat the person that they love no matter what so yeah dear young dads we see you we appreciate you and we love you keep doing what you're doing we know it's hard for you just the same way it's hard for us and we are here to give you support in every single way that we can do not lose hope don't sit down and be like yo my friends are doing this doing this no your family right now is the best thing that can ever happen to you and they're the people who will never leave you no matter what these are people you're 100 percent sure their love is genuine and this child is going to love you for the rest of their no matter who you are no matter what you have no matter where you come from no matter what you've done they don't care they just love you for who you are so please love them just as well and yeah that's basically it thank you so much for tuning into this video to all my young dads please let's engage each other in the comments if you haven't followed our instagram channel our handles are going to appear at the end of this video so thank you so much you guys make sure to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys again in another video bye